Hi folks, today's tech tip is dedicated to teaching you a little bit more about transducer angles. A lot of people have a lot of questions about transducer angles because when they call Vexilar they say, how big of an area am I looking at when I put my transducer down the hole? Well the answer to that can surprise you. In fact it surprises a lot of people because unless you actually do the test, you don't really know for sure. So what we've done here is we've drilled a hole in the ice and then another hole and then another hole. We've made a long series of holes to give us the ability to see just how far away from the transducer we can actually see the lure. Now Vexlar has three different transducers. The small little 19 degree and the 19 degree transducer is commonly used in depths of 30 foot of water or less. Then we have the 12 degree which is one of the most popular that we sell. The 12 degree has a great range of performance and is commonly used by anglers when they fish down to like 45 foot of water. It comes in all the units that have zoom zones like the 18 and the 20. It's a standard transducer and that's the, the 12 degree. And then we have the ProView. Now the ProView is the one made legendary by Dave Gens himself. The ProView itself is a very narrow beam or 9 degree deucer, but you'll soon see that just because it's a 9 degree doesn't necessarily mean it's a 9 degree transducer. So what I've done is I've drilled a hole. I'll take my transducer and I'll kind of flex it a little bit like this to make sure she's hanging straight because sometimes if it lays curled down in a curled down way like this, the wire gets kinky. So you want to make sure you exercise it a little bit so the wire so she hangs straight. And that's important. Now we're going to put it down the hole. We're going to leave our display on normal setting and there is our target down there uh, at about eight feet. Now what I'm going to do is start moving the target further and further away from the transducer until it disappears. And as you can see, as I further away I get, the more it starts to disappear. Now every lure has its own little unique profile. And the lure that we're using here is a larger bait, uh, a jigging rapala, for example. So in this application, I've moved the jigging rapala almost, oh, there she goes, almost all the way to the outer edge of these, this whole combination. I would say that's the outer edge of the transducer cone. Now this is supposed to be a 19 degree, and at this distance right now, at this depth of eight feet, I am looking at about 23 inches. In other words, a 23 inch diameter around the transducer is the area that I'm looking at right now, a 23 inch diameter circle around that. All right, now we know that, all right? Let's take off the 19 and let's put down a 12 degree. Now the 12 degree is, is gonna give us theoretically a smaller sonar return. So let's see if it does. Oh, sorry, you have to flex the transducer to make sure it's gonna hang straight. Put it down the hole. And we suspend it right like that. Oh, where's the lure? Well, you don't see the lure yet. The last one was at 23 inches. So we're gonna start moving this in ever so gently towards the transducer until we see it on the display. Oh, there she is right there. Oh, uh, 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 uh. Come on, where are you? Ever so gently, because I want to be as accurate as I can. You can do this test on your own. It's not difficult as you can see here. Okay, that's about it. That's about where it goes. So from 23 for the 19, the display went down to 17. From 23 to 17. All right, so now let's take off the 12 degree and put down a pro view. All right. You could do this test anytime you get a chance. You can do it, in, it varies obviously with different water depths. Again, I'm gonna flex the cable a little bit to make sure that transducer hangs right. This is the ProView ice deucer, and down the hole she goes. And, oh, I'm gonna wait for it to settle because I, I kind of threw it in there, it's swinging quite a bit. But sure enough, I can see the target very easily now with the ProView transducer in that same exact position, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to adjust it. Oh, where'd it go? Lure, oh, I, I must have twitched it. All right, so now I'm gonna adjust the lure as it's, it's still swinging down here a little bit. And I'm gonna start bringing it in closer and closer. And, oh, oh, there it is, there it is. There it is. 
All right, there she shows up there. Now, in this application, I've gone to 13 inches. So it's not as big of a difference from the 23 to the 17 to the 13, but the ProView gives the ability to do something very special. Let me show you what that is. You see, the ProView is designed not only to work in very deep water, but can it work in shallow water by simply adjusting the gain. Now watch this, I can move it back out to where it's gonna disappear. And I can increase the gain and start to see it again. I can move it out here a little bit further and increase the gain. And I can, I can actually make the pro view act like a 19 by simply adjusting the gain. In this case, I'm already beyond the 23 inches that I've already measured for the 19 by simply adjusting the gain very so ever so gently. The 12 degree and the 19 degree don't have the ability to be able to expand the range as much as the, the pro view does. In other words, you can expand the 19 and the 12, but not nearly to the degree that you can with the pro view. So here I've, in this application, I've shown you that you can make the pro view act like a 19 by simply adjusting the gain one small notch. Give this little transducer test yourself to see exactly the area that you're fishing and exactly what your transducers are showing you. For Vexilla Marine Electronics, I'm Tom Zanenko.